Hey guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV, and today we're going to be taking a look at Magic Samplitude Pro X3 and its Melodyne integration with ARA. So the reason why I've decided to dedicate a video specifically to this is because one of the most important things in modern day workflow where a musician or a studio engineer or just a mixing engineer period is speed and efficiency. We need to be able to do our job and do it fast, effectively, and do it well. So the fact that most of these older DAWs have not been able to integrate Melodyne and its ARA made it a little hassle because you have to record Melodyne into it and then if you have to do any edits, you have to do it inside Melodyne. And then you have to print that track because if you want to do any processing and stuff like that, you need to have that turned into an audio track or do it before. And then let's say you needed to move it or double a part in the song and add it somewhere else. You're going to literally have to re-record the whole thing or print it out and then move it. It's a really slow, inefficient workflow. But with ARA integration, you're actually able to speed that up quite a bit. So let me show you guys how to do that. You just right click. I'm going to do edit audio file in Melodyne. You're going to see how it just pops up and it even says ARA Melodyne. So if I solo this up now, play it. We've been climbing up the highest hills. My legs give out below me, but I do it for the thrill. So that's good. And if I just for the sake of argument, select all, go here, do completely pitch center, and completely pitch drift. This is not what we're actually going to do because we don't ever want to do this. We always want to make things as musically as possible. But let's say we do this. So we've officially melodyned this vocal. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We've been climbing up the highest hills. My legs give out below me, but I do it for the thrill. I'm actually genuinely surprised that that sounds as good as it does, but melodyne is pretty impressive. I'm going to back this off just a little bit because if I'm going to do this as inefficiently as I am, I want to make it sound more natural. And I like a little bit of pitch drift. It always gives it some character. So we have that there. We've been climbing up the highest hills. Cool. So in a normal DAW, if you did that, you would need to print that in order to keep that processing. I'm actually going to cut the audio track. Delete this part that has nothing in it. And I'm going to move this right here. In all normal circumstances, Melodyne is going to continue to play that part right here. But because this has ARA, you'll see how it moved with it. And I'm not getting any latency or any problems. So I'm going to play this. But if I move it here. We've been climbing up the... Right? And if I move it here. We've been... We've been climbing up the highest hills. We have complete integration and it moves with you and it stays in phase and it stays in time and it continuously talks to itself. Its ARA is basically allowing you to talk to whatever ARA integrated program you have. So the fact that they've done this with Melodyne means that they will later be able to do it with other things. This alone is such a powerful tool and Melodyne is one of the big hitters when it comes to pitch correction. And the fact that Magix has built-in Elastique and with the pro versions of Samplitude X3, you get Melodyne Essentials and you get ARA integration is pretty impressive. I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys like this example because I feel like this is a really great way of showing off what this can do. Feel free to ask any questions. I hope you guys enjoy. This has been Jerry Mateo with Music Marketing TV and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.